you have reached Red Steel's Awesome Toy Collector Review. I'm your man, Red Steel. And today's review is very special because I got my hands on this very hard to find figure. And that is Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Hordak. Masters of the Universe, Buzzsaw Hordak, Ruthless Leader with Blaster Blade. But before I get into the actual review, I just want to go over some of the spectacular details on this packaging. Up front, here you have a typical blister tray with both Hordak and all of his accessories. Behind Hordak, you have his comic book, and in the front here, you have the Evil Horde sticker. Then up here in the corner, it says, New for 21. Then in the other corner, you have Deluxe Figure Set. Then over here you have this beautiful illustration of Buzzsaw Hordak. Then over here you have yellow starburst that reads, Saw Blade, Burst Out of Chest. Then over here you have another yellow starburst that reads, Modern Posing Retro Play. Then on the back of the box here, you have a vintage inspired illustration of Flying Fist He-Man along with Buzzsaw Hordak. Then over here in the middle you have Modulock. Then over here in the corner it says, Hordak's Buzzsaw Blast catches his enemies off guard. Then over here you have another yellow starburst that reads, includes comic book. Then down here it says, modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. Masters of the Universe origin gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action packed battle positions. Then over here are some pictures on showing you how to use Buzzsaw Hordak. Over here it says, click Buzzsaw into place, push down on lever in back and launch Buzzsaw at enemies. Then over here you have a cross saw which includes the Crassel Grayskull playset, the Wind Raider, and all the Wave 1 Deluxe figures. Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Buzzsaw Hordak. Buzzsaw Hordak was released on May 22nd, 2021 with the suggested retail price of $19.99 and he was available at all major retailers. Buzzsaw Hordak was released along with the other Masters of the Universe Deluxe Wave 2 figures, Battle Armor He-Man and Battle Armor Skeletor. Buzzsaw Hordak has 16 points of articulation and his accessories include his crossbow, two buzzsaws, a swappable hand, a swappable head, and comic book. Buzzsaw Hordak stands 5.5 inches tall and he is meant for fans ages 6 and up. Now let's go over some of Buzzsaw Hordak's play features and accessories. First by talking about his comic book, Hordes Play, which features Mosquito, Tila, He-Man, and Man-at-Arms on the cover. On the inside here, you have an appearance by Battle Cat, Oracle, He-Man, Man-at-Arms, and Tila. Then on the next page here, you have an appearance by Hordak and Mosquito. Then on the next page here, you have a lot of back and forth between our heroes and villains. Then on the next page here, you see that our heroes overcome both Hordak and Mosquito. Then on the back cover here, you have a cross-up for all the Deluxe Wave 1 figures. Castle Grayskull, and Wind Raider. But I'm going to put this off to the side. So now I want to talk about the swappable head that comes with Buzzsaw Hordak. And this one is a little different than the one that comes with the Hordak out of the package as this one is smiling, this one is frowning. I'm going to put this off to the side. But you also get a swappable fist. So if you choose to arm Hordak with either hand, you can also take the open hand, take it out, and you take it out by unplugging it like that. And you got a peg at the end of the fist right here. You got a hole at the end of the wrist. Just plug that right in like that. Now you've got arm hard ass weapon in both hands. But I'm going to put his open hand, open hand in his wrist because that is his default hand out of the package. Get that on. And usually it's pretty simple. You just peg it right into that little hole. 
but this figure is very new and right out of the package, so he's a little stiff. Next, I want to go ahead and talk about his crossbow. And this is the exact same crossbow that came with the Hordak from Wave 4, and it's based on the Fitch design from the original Hordak. So there's very little differences between all three of them. And there's a weird design feature here where it kind of clips in like that. I'm not sure why it does that for. Maybe some of you fans can tell me why in descriptions below, but I do not know why they put that feature in there. But in order to arm this crossbow, there's a little clip right here. I can clip it right around his fist. So that's why I don't understand why Hordak comes with that other semi-close fist. Maybe it's the arm, you know, maybe the power sword or the other accessories that come with the other origin figures. And now you have Hordak armed with his crossbow, which is pretty cool because that's, that's his trademark weapon from the cartoon series and the original toy. I'm going to go ahead and take this and put this off to the side because I want to go ahead and talk about his deluxe feature, which makes him a deluxe figure. You have this little tab right here on his shoulder, which opens up his chest. Like that. And you want to make sure you lift his head up because on the bottom of his, his head right here, he has this little crest. And it'll get in the way of this feature. You can take one or two uh, buzz saws. You have the one right here that kind of looks like a cog. And one that actually looks like a buzz saw. So I'm going to use the buzz saw one. And you push it all the way into his chest so you hear it clicking because it's spring loaded like that. Then right here on his cape, it's a little button right here. You need to push down on it and it fires the buzz saw. And thank goodness there's not a lot of um, push behind the spring because it caused a lot of injuries. Because you know a lot of these these toys are regulated by um, safety laws. I'm going to go ahead and launch the other one. Oh, and that one went a lot faster. So maybe I hit this one armed correctly. In order to close it, you just lift his head up again. And you close his chest up. And I actually do have a Wave 4 Hordak that I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison real quickly. And like I mentioned earlier on, there's very little differences between these two figures. I mean, you can see the paint differences in the face, and you see the eyes are a little different here. Um, he did come with this shield, but I'm going to put that off to the side because I want to go ahead and pull out his crossbow. Like I mentioned earlier on, let me stand a little bit. These crossbows are identical. You guys can see. I'm going to go and put that crossbow off to the side. Put the portal off to the side. But there's another play feature with this Hordak that's really, really cool. And that is, and this is a feature that goes with all the Masters of the Universe origin figures, and that is they're interchangeable and customizable. And the Wave 2 figures, you know, um, Battle Armor He-Man and Skeletor, the only bad thing about this feature is you cannot take them apart, you can't take their arms off. Because according to the instructions, you can interchange Hordak's head, his arm, his fist, his torso, and his boots. So if I choose to take Hordak apart now, I think I'll go ahead and throw in some of He-Man's parts. I'll throw in an arm. I'll throw in his, his torso. And I'll throw in his head and his other arm. If I want to go ahead and build a figure or kit bash a figure, I'm going to go ahead and since I'm featuring Hordak, I'm going to grab Hordak's head. Maybe He-Man's chest. I'll just pop that right on like that. And it just pops on the ball joint. It's very easy because everything's interchangeable. You have the little porthole right here. And I'll grab one of Hordak's arms. Plug that right in. Go ahead and grab his midsection, and maybe I'll go ahead and grab one of He-Man's arms. Get back one of He-Man's arms. So now you have a very strange-looking shirtless Hordak. But I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble Hordak because I want to go ahead and talk about where he is available. And you can purchase Hordak by clicking the link below. I included a link where you can purchase Hordak. And once you click that link, it will take you to the Amazon store where you can purchase Hordak. Even if you choose not to purchase Hordak and make any other purchase after clicking that link, it will greatly help the channel out so that I can grow and produce more content for the future. If you guys found any of the information in this review valuable, please like and share this video. If you really enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and while you're there, click the bell to be notified of any future videos. I want to thank you guys for watching. Brad Steele's awesome toy collector review. I'll check you guys out next time.